do have a long history of fundraising, particularly the Canadian Cancer Society. I started fundraising for them when I was 10 years old. I cut my hair for the first time, donated 90 centimeters, and raised over $1,000 in just five days. So I thought I would do it again at grade eight graduation where I donated over 40 centimeters of my hair and raised over $1,000 once again. And then in high school, I thought I'd go big, and so I shaved my head and raised over $20,000 with a group of people because I thought it's time to get the community involved, not only supporting me, but involved with my fundraising effort. Someone told me that your 17 or 16 year old self is not gonna be very happy with your decision to shave your head. And you're not gonna have a boyfriend and no one's gonna to wanna to date you and you're not gonna be very popular. And I told them, you know what, um, I don't think that's true. I think if they're my real friends, if they really know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, um, they'll be okay with it. So he said, fine, if you have a prom date, I'll, I'll sponsor you. Um, so I got a prom date and he came with me. He was very supportive, he did interviews. Then I got the donation. To see a person who would not be personally affected by cancer herself, actually go out not just once, but three times to raise funds for the fight against cancer, to show that level of commitment, and then to end it all off by attending her grade 12 prom bald, shows amazing uh, courage and just shows the impact that one person can have in the fight against cancer. So on behalf of everyone at the Canadian Cancer Society, I'd like to extend our heartfelt thanks and congratulations to Ruxar on this much deserved honor. Ruxar makes us all proud. She is the one, Paul and soul to take the credit. I mean, she did it on her own and recognition is not her type. She does it because she wants to do it, that's her. Once she makes up her mind for doing something, that's it, nothing can stop her and she'll make very good of it. Receiving this award is certainly an honor. I did not expect it. Uh, when I got the phone call, I was thrilled, um, but also it encouraged me to continue doing my work. Before, I used to do my fundraisers alone as a sole participant, and this time when I shaved my head, I had a team. So I do have the community involved as well, and I hope to continue being involved.